It's Wednesday, August 11th, and those of you that have been paying attention know that Mr. Unbeatable Usain Bolt was beaten this last week in Stockholm. Well, I've got some exclusive information on that coming up in this episode of Runner Space Live. <laughs> Well, folks, Bolt said it himself, I can be beaten. This loss opened the floodgates, and I saw weakness, so I challenged Bolt to a race. Unfortunately, we didn't have the cameras rolling, but we did manage to get a picture. Oh, denied. Took him down. Who else wants a turn? How about you, Betty White? Oh, nice. Betty White has nice legs. Guess he is beatable. Tyson Gay, me, Betty White. Better go beat him while you have a chance. It's the awkward video of the week. It's the uh, runner, runner space rundown. Run It's the high school rundown. A week after they began, the AAU Junior Olympics wrapped up this last Saturday in Norfolk, Virginia. In the young men's triple jump, Marquise Dendy won with a mark of 51 feet, five and three quarter inches, and then doubled back the next day to take second in the long jump to Southwind, Tennessee's Jolene White. The young men's 110 hurdles came down to a hundredth of a second, with Texas junior Kenneth Minka just edging out Florida senior Roy Smith. On the final day of competition, Lynette Alabama senior James Harris got his second and third gold medals in the young men's 400 and 200. He added those victories to his U.S. number two, seven feet three and a quarter inch high jump victory. Jeremy Strange, a freshman of North Broward, Florida, got the intermediate boys 100-200 double. He dominated with times of 10-8-6 and 21-6-5. And Kamaria Brown of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, got the young women's 400-200 double win. She put up a U.S. number four, 52-9-9 in the 400 and a 23-7-9 in the 200. Kendall Basin, the U.S. high school leader at 400 meters, won the intermediate girls 400 with a 52-7-1. And she was second in the 200 to Lakeisha Jackson of Tennessee. Jackson won with a 24.06. And let's not forget our other Kendall superstar, Kendall Williams of Kell, Georgia. When all was said and done, she took home three intermediate girls gold medals in the 100 hurdles, 400 hurdles, and heptathlon, and a silver medal in the long jump. At the North American Pole Vaulting Championships in Clovis, California, 10-year-old Armand Duplantis set an age group world record of 12 feet 8 inches. With that vault, he improved upon his own incredible world record by three quarters of an inch. And Merritt Van Meter, the high school girls number two vaulter this year, was the women's individual champion with a height of 13 feet even. It's the College Pro Rundown. Someone finally did it. Usain Bolt has been beat. And that someone was Tyson Gay. In stop number 11 of 14 of the Diamond League in Stockholm, Sweden, Tyson Gay ran a 9.84 in the 100 meters to give Usain Bolt his first defeat in two years. Bolt ran a 9.97, the second slowest final of his career. Oh, and then after the meet, I also beat Usain Bolt and so did Betty White. The men's 5K was a very good race. It was won by Mark Kiptu of Kenya in a 12.53. That's the number three time in the world this year and the top three runners were with and 12 hundredths of a second of each other. Chris Alinsky was fifth, running a 12.55.5, the number two time ever by an American. Just one second off of the American record set by Bernard Lagat this June. And Galen Rupp, who was hoping to break 13 for the first time, tripped with about a thousand meters to go in the race and didn't finish. And the women's 5K probably shouldn't have been called a world record attempt, as Ethiopian Mesret Tafar won in a 14.42, over 30 seconds slower than the world record. The men's 800 was won by Poland's Marcin Lewandowski in a 1.45.06. But due to some late race jostling. Pre-race favorite Abubakar Khaki lost the shoe and dropped out. Recently turned pro Andrew Weeding was bumped out of contention. And second place finisher Britain's Michael Rimmer was disqualified for stepping inside the track. At the Luzern Sp Ooh. Spitzenlichtathletik in Switzerland. Jamaica's Nesta Carter won the 100 with a personal best 9.86. He beat Walter Dix, who was second, also running a personal best of very fast 9.88. And in the women's 800, Morgan Usini won with a personal best 158.67. And lastly, Justin Gatlin has just made his return from a four-year drug suspension. He's run in two 100s thus far and won both of them with times of 10.24 and 10.17.
Road Racing Rundown. Uh, the beach to beacon 10K was this weekend in Cape Elizabeth, Maine. On the men's side, it was an exciting three-man race, eventually won by World Cross Country Champion Gabriel Gaber Mario. His time of 27:30 was 13 seconds shy of the course record, and he passed Kenyan Alan Kiprono in the final meters. Kiprono finished second, just one second back, with a 27:41. Wilson Chibet, also of Kenya, rounded out the top three with a 27:44. And the first non-African in was recent Arkansas graduate Sean Forrest, who finished in sixth with a 28:16. Ben True of the Oregon Track Club finished 12th with a 29.01 and was the first American in. And the women's race was a one-woman show. Lyneth Chepkuri of Kenya took the lead from the gun and shattered the old course record by 25 seconds. Wuda Yalu of Ethiopia also dipped under the previous course record, running a 31.06, just seven seconds behind Chepkuri. Kenyan Edna Kipagat took third with a 31.33. At the New York Roadrunners Club Team Championships in Central Park, New York, there were some very strong team performances. The West Side Runners Club, comprised of Ethiopians, were the winners here and swept the first five places. They were led by overall winner Kumsa Megueresa, who won the five-mile course in a time of 23.57. And the women's race was dominated by New York Athletic Club, who also swept the first five places. They were led by overall winner Riley Kyernan, who won in a 28.17. And that is all. Okay, well that about wraps her up for this week. Now before we go, I thought we'd take one more look at my incredible victory over Usain Bolt. Boom! Eat it! Use his own celebration against him. Runner Space Live signing... Wait, what's this? It seems the episode has inspired a few more challengers. We've got Zach Efron, Snooky from uh, Jersey Shorecast, and Asafa Powell. All want to beat Usain Bolt. Runner Space Live signing out. (laughs) 